welcome to All Things Youth Justice. Hello, hello, hello. How hello. are you? Very well, thank you. Thank you for Good. joining us today. Today we're joined in the studio with Bav, right? Hmm? That's right, yeah. Could you introduce yourself to us, please? Um, yeah, so I'm Bav. I'm the co-owner of Yanomize, which is a, a media and a rapping business and events business and everything else that goes along with what we do. Nice, nice to meet you, Bab. Thank you. Um, I'm Chakodi. I'm Jenny. How you doing? Yeah. We're, we're doing good. We're doing good. good. Nice. I want to yeah. just learn about you today and just talk to you, ask you some questions. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. We work on the Youth Justice team. I don't know if you know anything about Leicester Share Cares. No, I don't. And that's what, what that's one of the reasons why we've got in touch because okay. I want to know what you guys are doing okay. uh, and the exciting projects and the, the stuff that you're doing for the community and the, the young people. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and and likewise, I'll share with what, what we're doing and how we're, we're sort of changing and what I've done in the past because obviously I'm a... Uh, a Leicester lad, got you. Uh, born and bred. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. that sounds good. Okay, yeah. so I head up the You Justice project, mm -hmm. and that's comprised of two projects: as the VIP project and the Phoenix program. Both projects are funded by the Violence Reduction Network. Mm -hmm. The VIP project works with young people ages 11 to 25 to help them get into education, employment, or training. Our main referrals are they come from Turning Point. They are our partners on the VIP project and they're based in the hospital and the custody suite. So it's all about the reachable moments. So if a young person gets into a fight, for instance, on a night out um, and they get arrested and put in a cell, in that reachable moment, they might be reflecting and thinking, okay, I need to change my ways. I need to stop getting into fights. I need to stop carrying knives and things like that. Um, and then there's a um, youth coach in the custody suite or in hospital if they've been injured that will connect with them and offer them our services. Just find out if they need any sort of employment, education and training support and they'll get sent to us. On the Phoenix program, it's a much bigger program and that's funded by, the funding comes from the Youth Endowment Fund. Um, we have probation involved, we have police involved. It's a much bigger team and they're based in probation. And that project works with young people like within the ages of 11 to 15 up until 60. So yeah. we deal with older people as well. Um, again, the outcomes to get them into education, employment or training. So we have various things that we do with them. So we'll do like goal setting sessions. Mm -hmm. We'll do like CV sessions with the mock interviews, work placements job searches it's all about getting them to do something productive so that they're moving away from like their their previous ways and staying on the right path so the the, the transition from them getting this help is mm -hmm. it their choice yes so yeah. they will they they think hold on i'm putting my hands up i that's want it. i want some help mm -hmm. that's it can you help me guys you know and you, you then will be there on the sidelines to go we can help you we yeah. can do this for you yeah. yeah and a lot of these young people especially young people may not have the skills that you're you're helping them with is that right is that exactly. what you're, you're sort of supporting them helping them that's it. Uh, and giving them an alternative exactly, is that fair yeah. to say it's very voluntary so it's okay not because if if you take away the voluntary element then it becomes forced and it's not something that's coming from their heart so you yeah. can't enforce change on people they have to want it yeah. for themselves so we off it's offered to them if it's on the vip project it's offered by the the work coaches and then they will come to us if it's um, on the Phoenix program, they'll be contacted. It's like a randomized selection. And that's this is happening nationally. Mm -hmm. So in five cities where there's like a serious violence issue, whether it's there's Nottingham. Leicester, Nottingham, Coventry, Scotland as well. Yeah, yep. Coventry, Coventry, Wolverhampton, Manchester. Mm -hmm. okay. um, mm -hmm. So it's being trialed in those cities, those mm -hmm. five cities. It, it did take place in Scotland yeah. initially. Mm -hmm. And so we're just, it's based on the focus deterrence approach. Um, and that's mm -hmm. just sort of like using like sort of a community approach to help prevent and reduce violence okay so how long have you been doing this so on the phoenix program we started last year yeah. july okay yeah so and how many people have you helped well I'm putting you on the spot now oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Thank you. Thank i'm you. putting you on yeah. the spot here see oh he's very hot yeah. at numbers so is he yes he is. okay that's so good that, to hear yeah so mm -hmm. so far in the program so the target was like about 75 so we're about a hundred and something oh wow yeah. that's amazing i've been referred onto the program so yeah that's, um, that's positive so change right say that again sorry positive change yeah positive, exactly positive. like yeah. the young people that actually engage on our services you can actually see a massive improvement from like the initial appointment to like let's say five weeks after three months after you yep. literally see a change in them so it's if they're constantly engaging that's and right. wanting the support that's when you'll see like there's a difference do you have much dropout if someone's, yeah. If yeah. you do. Yes, okay. do. So, if, if so, what is your dropout rate then? If someone says, because obviously I've, let's say for example, I come to you and say, I need help. Yeah. I get accepted. Mm. And, and you're saying you're helping, you know, 75 to 100. I'll young, say approximately 30% dropout. Yeah, yeah approximately. What, what's the main reason? 
um, you know, life is complex. Yeah. So it's not it's never a straight line. Yeah. So whilst we deal with sort of the ETE sort of um, elements, they might be having issues with their girlfriend yeah. or they might be having housing issues. Um, they might be still dealing with drug issues. So okay. all of these complexities that's going on in their lives can Im- it, it can affect their engagement. Okay. Yeah. And also trauma, like their previous trauma. There's something called ACEs, adverse childhood experiences. Mm-hmm. A lot of them, so crime doesn't just happen. There's usually a reason why mm-hmm. um, a lot of these young people or a lot of these people have grown up in homes where they've s- either experienced violence, yeah. um, just grown up with it, maybe in their neighborhood, in their own family homes, and it has an impact. You can't, you can't watch as it, much as you get a dropout, it must be quite satisfying when you actually go through yeah, it and then so yeah. you help someone yeah, and you can see a success story. And that's it. I mean, it's a very, um, it's a very hard task. To imagine what you're going through. I can yeah. only imagine, you know, because, yeah. you know, by default, a human's perspective is it's a negative rather than a positive. Yeah, that's sometimes. often happens yeah. in those situations, that's right? It. So it must be quite challenging, but quite also rewarding, right? That's when it. you, yeah. when, when I you think do. with like this type of job, it's just taking people as they are that's mm. what i've learned because i joined chakodi in april last year mm. yeah. before that i was working with um, neat young people so no, not employed in educational training so i remember the first time i joined um the project i was like oh my gosh i'm nervous like all of this kind of thing and then chakodi was just like jennifer they're human beings yeah. and then when you actually sit down with them and you actually speak to them you're like okay wow yeah. you know there's people yeah. that actually go through a lot in their lives yeah. Yeah. and obviously we take it as a blessing as well because you don't choose where you're where you're born, born no. where you're from. Mm-hmm. But and then when you speak to these young people, you could be that one person that's consistently in their life mm-hmm. and that could make such a big difference. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Yeah. A lot of appreciation, I yeah. should you, you get a lot from a from a lot of the people. Yeah. Because um, yeah. a lot of people do similar jobs but not everyone really cares. For some people yeah. it's just a paycheck. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. uh, uh, but I, we try and bring that sort of caring element mm-hmm. and when the young people do engage they can see. Yeah. So you always tend to be their go to. Yeah, I mean I guess when if you're in that situation and, and you, like you said, it's not through choice. You don't yeah. choose to do this. Yeah. It's nice to have you know, help there. But as long you know, as like you said, it's consistent yeah. help. It's a friendly face, mm. you're there to support and you're there to make yeah. a difference. That's a, yeah. you know, that's the key, right? That's, so. that's the key. Yeah. And often I tell them they don't need to be defined by their circumstances. Because mm. I give this story it was a story that I heard in, a, in an audio book that I read. Like a, two young two young boys watched their father become an alcoholic they watched and watched and watched and then eventually they grew up one of them became successful and the other became an alcoholic yeah. and they asked the alcohol they asked the alcohol they asked the successful person well, why did you become successful and he said i had no choice i watched my father mm. and then the alcoholic they asked him he's like i had no choice i watched my father so as much as they've gone through adverse childhood experiences yeah. they don't have to be defined by those circumstances yeah. Yeah. they can choose and it's sometimes equipping them with the tools that they need to make the right choices letting them know what the opportunities are for them out out in the, the world that they can actually yeah. choose to do no. different yeah. makes yeah. sense so tell me i want one more one last question <laughs> well, that's fine you can B- have that biggest answer. challenge yeah. what's the biggest your biggest challenge you have mindset R- yeah what is it mindset so what, of the of the youth of, of the, the young people yeah the, okay because mindset is not changed overnight yeah. and mindset is often developed over childhood and so it's sh- it's dealing with those cha- those mindsets and off like showing them and offering them a different way of thinking and a different yeah. way of being. That's where the challenge lies. Yeah, the opportunities can be searched out for if you if you're determined, you will find you'll find something that works for you, and we, we're here to support yeah. you. But that mindset can be you have to break that barrier, breaking break it, it yeah. down, and that takes mm-hmm. time. But then when, it, when we go back to what I said earlier about the complexities, when you have various other things thugging at you, yeah, yeah of course, because the yeah. system may have failed them in different yeah. parts, exactly. right? And mm-hmm. you know, there might be there's other contributing factors, and exactly. I get that, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's nice that you're there and you've got the ability to try and help them, yeah. that's, that's the key, right? That's yeah. So, mm-hmm. and you try and do that at, at the various ages that you can start and all the way up, that's so that's it. quite it's impressive. Yeah. It's impressive. Did you? Did you I know we sent you questions, but yep. it's just going to be fluid. It's that, I prefer. Yeah, works, <laughs> yeah no, no, it works. Yeah. Feel, works. Yeah. feel free to ask questions. No, we, oh, don't worry, I'm not yeah. shy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one yeah. interviewing. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> That's what I tend to do. I'm not shy. Yeah, we, we can work yeah. 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 we come and interview. Yeah. Exactly. You just you know, you, The thing is, we got introduced. You're doing some great stuff. You were mm. doing another podcast, and, and some of the guys 
spoke to me and said, look, these guys are doing some amazing work. Uh, it'd be good to share some of the stuff that you've done, your story. But likewise, I also want to learn about what you guys yeah. do, how yeah. you do it, the impact mm. you have. And, you know, um, throughout my, my working career, we've always supported various charities. We've always supported various um, projects, etc., uh, and local communities and but not always supported and i'm in a p fortunate position to support in various ways not just financial for example yeah. so by getting yeah. awareness out there of what you guys are doing mm, is important a... telling the world and mm. and, 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 and even business owners mm. which we spoke about business owners that are out there that yeah. can potentially employ yeah. and, and and one of the one of the things that we we did in my in my last company um was we made an effort to mm. employ people that education wasn't important that's your background wasn't yeah, important that's it. if you had a criminal record it wasn't important mm. we gave people a yeah. chance yeah mm -hmm. now it was for them to screw it up mm. but we gave them a chance that's and we it. helped them yeah we were understanding we were trying to help them get mm. through things we mm. had people that worked with us that were in troubled relationships mm. breakups or whatever mm -hmm. we try and support them mm. and that was one of the things we did and you know we all have you know backgrounds and pasts and and various uh, and uh, we decided that yeah. we will help everyone and not judge that's it um, yeah. and i think that's important mm. yeah um, i think it's important because i didn't you know i was very fortunate at the time that i someone took a chance on me yeah. so i'm i'm always trying to give a chance and even today when i'm talking to people mm. and i'll always give someone a chance okay i always say there's I love that. you know yeah. one chance Two chance, then no chance. Okay. Yeah. So I'll give someone, you know, and that's for me. Okay. You know, whether it's an email, whether it's a conversation, it's mm. a meeting, you know, don't don't abuse the situation you're in. Yeah. Take advantage, help yourself, mm. and then converse. You know, that's yeah. the best way of doing it. So okay. we've always had that yeah. philosophy of, and even today, um, you know, from our employment, uh, people when we employ people at Yanomize, we. You know, it doesn't matter what your background, doesn't matter your okay. ethnicity, doesn't matter what you've done in the past. It, you know, if you're a good person and yeah. you're willing to work and you're willing to put an effort yeah. in, mm. we'll give you a chance. Okay. Do you need to have experience if, you, like, let's say, if a young person wanted to work at Yanomaz? Do you in know? some jobs, yes. Some yeah, jobs, most, yeah. most, because of where we are now when we're very, you know, with quite an uh, established team. Mm. Um, but saying that, we, we took on a, a young lady um in one of the offices um at the beginning of the year mm -hmm. um she had you know uh, some experience not a lot mm -hmm. yeah. um and she won't mind me saying you know she uh, accredited there was no grades or uh, education uh, as such mm -hmm. um but wow she does an amazing job mm -hmm. you know yeah. given the opportunity she want mm -hmm. the job great let's do it you know mm -hmm. um and and that's that's important and mm -hmm. there was there was another chap that joined us uh and he was working in Tesco's, okay. right? And he wanted yeah. to do graphic design and he really wanted to do it. And we gave him a chance and he's doing an amazing job. Yeah, so wow. we will we'll work with people uh, and we'll, we'll try our best. But, you know, um, we're an established team. Love so, that, yeah. So I love that. Try. Love that. I think yeah. that's yeah. really good. You talked about someone giving you a chance. So that goes way back to your earlier... Like you, these yeah, are so, yeah, so look, you know, um, mum and dad... Uh, uh, I'm from Leicester. Mm -hmm. um, my mom and dad bought a shop uh, when I was six, mm -hmm. many years ago. And uh, that was in, in, in South Wixton. And mm -hmm. so I grew up in South Wixton up until the age of 21. Okay. I did my GCSEs. I did my A-levels, didn't do very well. And okay. I was sort of started working and I was going to go to university. Mm -hmm. I don't know when and how that was going to happen, but okay. um, but that was the plan. But then um, I got, uh, I found a job in, in, in a paper mm -hmm. and uh Went for the interview. It was in London, North okay. London. And at the time, this is 1995, I was on £100 a week in Leicester. Oh, that was wow. what I was earning, right? Okay. I was yeah. at the bottom level. Mm. I was selling mobile phones in a shop. Mm. And um, I was on £100 a week. Mm. And I got offered this job in London. So I've gone down there on a Wednesday. It was mm. really hot. I had a spare shirt in the, the, in the car. Mm. And I've gone down there. And um, it's like a little call centre. You know, no bigger than this office. Um, little call centre. And they're selling mobile phones on the phone. So okay. people ringing in saying, I want a phone. And they deliver the phone. Okay. This is 1995. So the phones are not like what they are today. Yeah. This is, um, And I had the interview with a chap called Adam. And... Uh, and it went really well. And I went mm. back in the car. My girlfriend at the time was in the car. Mm. 
And uh, she goes, how did it go? I said, yeah, really well. I think it went okay. Mm. She goes, and the next thing you know, I've got a knock on the window. Oh. Looked and he goes, oh, do you mind coming back in? One of the directors would like to have a chat with you. Okay. Yeah, no problem. So I've gone back in. And he's gone, right, listen, you know, have a, had a chat with him. What do you do? How do you do it? Blah, blah, blah. And, and we got on really well. And he said, look, I'd like to offer you the job. Mm. And I'm like, this is amazing. Wow. And uh, I said, uh, you know, when can you start? I went, uh, 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 Monday. <laughs> yeah. and I didn't even think. Didn't even yeah. think. I was like, Monday. Mm-hmm. And this is this job. Mm-hmm. I hit the jackpot. I was on wow. eight thousand pounds a year. This is oh, big money now. Yeah. This is I'm a, this is oh proper God, money now. Yeah. I'm on a hundred yeah. pound. I'm, I'm on like it's, so you, I, it's like from five thousand pound salary. I'm on like eight thousand pound salary. I'm like this is progress. Yeah. I've, I've nowhere to live, mind you. Oh God. Right? So I'm in trouble now, right? Yeah. So I've I've got this. I've gone, but. It's commission Mm -hmm. so i'm like i've got a salary i'm getting commission i'm I'm gonna make this work Mm -hmm. and to be honest with you it was at the time of my life where um i was in leicester i was going out all the time great you know good friends but i didn't have a solid purpose i was sort of Mm -hmm. you know it i became it was more social going out friends chilling um not getting your head down not uh, you know university wasn't really was it on the cards it was about 50 50 mm-hmm. i was had to go through clearing and go somewhere mm-hmm. um so for me it was it was now this is big, put your big boy pants on and we're, we're gonna do yeah. this right mm-hmm. you're gonna have to grow up now mm-hmm. and i think at that point it became a choice whether i had to go and do the job get it on yeah. or stay around here and not bumming around but it was a bit of a yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, was, it was a lifestyle. Was a yeah. I was enjoying life, you know, yeah. going out every night, most mm. nights, chilling with mm. my friends, mm. which is a great thing mm. to do. But at point, you have to go. How old were you then? 21. Okay. Wow. Yeah, 21. Really so at that point, I need to go like, listen, you need mm. to sort of sort mm. this out. Mm. So come 2021, I, I went uh, and so I came home and I said to mum, mm. found a job. She went, great. Where is it? She went, I went London. She went, where? So she's like, oh my God. Yeah. So she goes, oh, okay, look, let me let me speak to my sister. Sister mm-hmm. lived in Edgeware. She goes, well, I, mm-hmm. I've i just moved out of my flat. Okay. It's empty. Um, we haven't sold it yet, mm-hmm. but he can go and mm-hmm. live in there. For, and I was like, what a result. Wow. This was a, this but, was all meant to be. Yeah, it's mm. meant to be. So I moved in, but there was nothing in the flat. So I slept on the floor. Wow. So a little blow up mattress, six months, I slept on the floor. Um, I did this job well, mm-hmm. very well. I ended up running it um, with, wow. with the owner um and we were paid very lucratively and i learned everything mm. wow. everything i learned everything good and bad how learned i was a sponge mm. because i'm learning mm. yeah. and 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 at that point mobile phones were coming up and they mm. were they were throwing money at us to get more customers and we i was learning mm. and for me that was when i look back um and then and i look at what we did and how we did it and i thought okay i've learned a lot mm. i then got headhunted into another company Mm. Um, and again did the same grew the business so Mm. my skills are I can grow a business Mm. I can help Mm. you know uh, manage a business grow it and and look at how we do it Mm. Uh, second business did the same multiple growth and then 2005 I said I'm done I'm going to do property I'm going to chill and then um, and throughout of all these journeys I've run multiple businesses within a group and I've run teams and I've, it's been really successful okay. and I've and I've got my head down mm. uh, and that's the key you know I've got mm. my head down and I'm, I'm grafting and I'm, yeah. I'm working 2005 I thought I've done enough in you know I've done mobile phones I've done exercise I'll tell you what I'm doing I'm going to do property mm. and then at my party when I was leaving mm. um, one of the guys that used to work for me goes I'm going to set up a company why don't you do it with me I'm like no no no, no I'm done mm-hmm. I said I'm done I've spent so many years doing this I'm out he went no 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 just do it so mm-hmm. I went okay mm. so I went in and invested in this business and what I thought would be a couple of days a week became full on. Gosh, yeah. So I mm-hmm. uh, jumped into that business and that was predominantly selling mobile phone accessories and recycling. So recycling okay. was our big business. So okay. at the time, 2007, mm. you can't just throw your mobile phone in the bin. You have mm. to recycle your phone. Okay. And then you had companies buying yeah. your phone back. Mm. So they can't throw it in the bin. So we helped these guys mm. um, ethically, ethically recycle their phones mm. recycle electronics mm. even your sky box you can't just throw it in the bin if, you, if, so you, have, wow. if you have your sky yeah. box and it goes wrong you can't just go mm. oh actually i'll just throw it in the bin mm. it's electrical waste mm. so all the laws change so we help do that okay. that journey from 2005 to 2019 was absolutely wow. massive wow. so wow. we were in the sunday times fast track five times wow in the top 100 what's the name of the business genuine solutions oh yes yeah um, so website. so five times we were in the and i think the biggest 
my biggest achievement out of all of that was meeting the Queen. Oh, so wow. when she How awarded us the, uh, the, the an award for oh, Enterprise, gosh. and and for me, um, it wow. happened, and I was like, did that really happen? Yeah, wow. and she's, and she's like, congratulations. Oh I'm like, gosh. I'm like, but you don't realise it's happening so quick. Mm. So you sort of move, you're moving in. You're sort of all everyone's in a room chilling, and everyone's having a drink and, mm. and, and mm. talking to people, and then all of a sudden you're ushered into a room and you meet the Queen. And I'm wow. Like, she goes, congratulations. And I'm like, listen, oh. you can't, you can't, oh, wow. you can't buy, you can't yeah. buy that. Did you get a yeah. picture? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, wow. yeah. So, so two, 2019 happened. Mm. So me and my business partner I said, "Look, I've had enough. I'm, I'm we're, we're, we know you do your, do your thing, and I got bought out." Then lockdown happened. Yeah. So I'd always invested in various businesses. I'd always had a property portfolio, mm-hmm. um, and uh, for me, then um, I started venturing into different things and investing. Okay. Um, started having a conversation with Yanni. Okay. Um, and said, uh, look, you know, what you, what are you doing? How are we doing it? Yeah. And then very quickly we realised that we both had different skill sets oh, okay. and uh, we became partners. Okay. Um, and from there we then decided to take the brand mm-hmm. and grow. Uh, mm. Yes, we were renowned for wrapping cars. Yanni's always wrapped cars for celebrities and footballers and everyone okay. you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Um, but what we wanted to do is some more more things with the brand and uh, look at the brand and what else we can do. Mm. Today we still wrap cars for you know amazing people, oh, amazing yeah. cars. It's mm, it's yeah. brilliant. Mm. Um, but what we also then did over the very short period of time we we put our clothing into Sports Direct. Oh, okay. um, so through that like period. Like a you've got Back on right now. Yeah. So we had yeah. we, and, and with that um, with the people I know we ended up doing a collab with Everlast, which is the biggest oh, boxing yeah. brand oh, wow. in the world. Yeah. So we had Yanomai's and Everlast clothing in, in Sports Direct. Wow. Uh, we then put our car cleaning products in all the Halford stores. Wow. Um, and meanwhile, we're still wrapping cars. We're still doing oh stuff. Uh, we have a competition business where we give away cars and money and all that kind of <sighs> stuff. So that's great. And, 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 and then we started doing events. Mm. Uh, and that's what we, we started doing. Okay. And, um, and then that's what sort of brought me back to Leicester, so to speak. Mm, I mean, obviously, okay. I come back because my folks and yeah. family are here. Mm-hmm. But having uh, to doing an event in Leicester. Mm. Uh, so last year we did uh, two car events um, okay. in in Surrey, and they were really good. They're really successful, sold out, mm-hmm. and we raised money for charity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For us, this was more about keeping our brand and us mm-hmm. with the people and mm-hmm. the consumers and everyone else mm-hmm. but also helping the charities mm-hmm. so we helped uh, two charities um last year and then this year i, I sat down and, and said look what we're going to do this year so mm-hmm. we're doing an event um in surrey again at mercedes-benz world on the 6th of may okay uh, we're doing an event in darlington way up north uh, mm-hmm. at the end of may okay um, we're doing our tour, which is London to Marbella, which is oh, what we did back wow. in 2019 with 50 Cent. Oh, with 50 Cent. Oh, so, yeah. oh. Uh, so this year, and people are going, yeah. who's doing the tour this year? So we yeah. can't say. Oh my God. There's some, there's a, like, oh. Yeah, there's, there's, there's yeah. Um, but we've got 40 supercars going from London to Marbella. Wow. Um, and then in August, we're in Leicester. Oh, wow. Ooh, so Leicester. big, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, what, so, what can we expect at this event? Yeah. Okay, so... So the, the Leicester Motor Show has been going for 10 years. It's oh, wow, part, okay. It was, it was originally part of the Leicester Mercury um, show. Um, so we've basically come in and mm. uh, taken over the show. It's now a ya- the Yanomai's Motor Show in Leicester. Oh, okay. And with that, mm-hmm. I started ringing some people in Leicester and going, yeah. hi, we're doing a show in Leicester. Mm. Um, you've got to get involved. And everyone's like, of course we do. Okay. So we've got loads of sponsors in Leicester wow. that have sponsored the event. Okay. Uh, we will have got, what, 60, 70 stands oh, at the wow. show. Because of who we are and what we do, mm. we now have every car dealer you can imagine. Wow. So we've oh, got wow. Ferrari, we've got Lamborghini, we've got oh, Porsche, God. we've got Maserati, we've got Ben. Mm-hmm. We've got every car dealer mm. coming to the Leicester race course mm. uh, on the 25th of August. Okay. Um, August. And you know what the best thing is? It's mm. a free event. Okay. Wow! It's absolutely it's, free. Okay. So the the main motor show area is absolutely free of charge. Mm-hmm. What we've done is we cr- the other th- the only bit you have to pay for is the VIP okay. part. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I said, look, you know, the VIP paddock, but kids are free. So mm-hmm. we want everyone to enjoy as much as we can, mm-hmm. uh, and to raise money for charity and mm-hmm. and to and to help because obviously mm-hmm. for us it's it's more about the brand and raising money for charity mm-hmm. rather than making it a commercial enterprise. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. So we said, look, we want to charge. Very little mm-hmm. to people. So we said, look, um, we'll, we'll charge them £10, but we'll just do an early bird ticket. It's £5. Everyone buys a £5 ticket okay. per person, 
and your kids come come in for it and you can see all these cars mm. okay. every single thing but there's more cars over there there's more yeah. it, so mm. it, it's 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 huge and it's 